feels like a bit of time has passed since we've been back to the well that is the USS Flag. I think it's fair to say that these days we see more flags raised up on custom wheelie bases than flags that are factory spec. I had no way of knowing that this simple modification would become as popular as it did. Maybe I would have made more of a song and dance about it back then. Truth is, I never thought that much of it. It was functional, it achieved the goal of getting the flag up off the floor and gave it a little bit of maneuverability, but I did it with a very basic knowledge of woodwork and not much of a care for the aesthetics. In the intervening 12 years, I've seen this mod taken to some amazing lengths by toy fans with far more skill than I. And it is awesome! I had the supreme delight in watching such a skilled friend's custom take shape recently, and I was wanting to share it with you. Every flag base is impressive in its own way. Some are decked out with full dioramas, even down to the furnishings and decal work. Some are so tall, it's like the flag is less of a ship and more of an office block. But my friend Mr. Alan Grant, no, not that Alan Grant, his modification is so tasteful that his refinements are the ones that I shall be making to my own flag base someday. I'll be the first to admit that the shape of my board took on too much of the unevenness of the deck structure. Alan has managed to taper his into a far more symmetrical and realistic keel. And he does it by bringing in the trusses with these sloped supports. Everything is sanded and rounded and looks and feels great. The bow is filled in and smoothed off and here's some further insight from the man himself. Hey Joe Burgers, Steve asked if I could try to explain how I made the base of the flag. And it is made out of MDF and I laid the flag down on that piece of MDF, traced around the bow and the stern, and then bent a flexible piece of timber down around the sides to get the curve. And then the bow is made out of MDF stacked on its side like this piece of Lego. I traced the bow onto that and then sanded it back with a grinder and a flapper wheel. And then as for the supports, I laid the flag back down on that base, and measured from down there up to there, and then put a nice curve into it, and that's how I got the shape of the strut supports. I'm sure you'll agree, the finished product, spectacular. And perhaps my favorite feature is the addition of a spine to the central deck plate. This plate, even on the unmodified toy, has no support running down its length. So it is commonly bowed as it is always supporting the weight of any plane about to take off. Alan has engineered a wooden piece to run straight down the center and that is of enormous help in keeping that plate supported as much as possible. I'm also a big fan of how Alan chose to include the plastic strap that makes up the original toy's hull. I hated this aspect of the original toy, but even I can see that it's better to keep it with the set than to have it lying spare in a drawer somewhere. It serves to mask some of the less attractive guts of the ship, and if you got it, you might as well use it. The Storm Eagle from 1992 slips right under there perfectly, and in many respects, it is the Joe plane that shines the most on a flag, thanks to its diminutive size, yet near perfect proportions. All the bulkhead doorways are similarly sanded and rounded off, with a view to printing practical doors to place over them eventually. Now I know we're going to get some questions about the custom X30. It's literally just a faded vintage one that Alan took a rattle can of silver spray paint to and finished with some reproduction stickers. It's not chromed, and I think it's better for it. The shiny silver is such a lovely callback to the legends of the Second World War like the P-38 and P-51, and then the early jet age like the F-86, F-104, and the MiG-15. So pretty. And it really suits something as experimental as G.I. Joe's twin-engined forward-swept wing fighter. 
Buzzing the tower. so fortunate to be able to reconnect with this legendary toy just a few k's south of me and i hope this video can inspire flag fans and owners everywhere to get the most out of this hunk of plastic with something like the uss flag in its arsenal i'm sure there can be no denying that gi joe is the goat baby yo joe Scarlet, what's that down there? Shh. Looks like a uh, alien life forms. Cybertronian by the looks. Are they hostile? Well, they would have shot us by now, Steel Brigade. Uh, we got some red lights on the flight panel here, Scarlet. Uh, what do you suppose that could be? Oh man, oil pressure. We better make for the flag. We're scrubbing the mission. Gotta put her down. Watch out for the furniture. Gear down. Oh, I missed it. Okay. What's the trick, Al? <laughs> Let's when you take off again. Yeah. <laughs> wave off, wave off.